Hey guys, Rich. I'm here at uh, one of my new listings. This is uh, 1318 uh, Tall Grass Court in Eudora, Kansas. And uh, this one, uh, I think you're gonna like it a lot. It actually is a three bedroom um, and a two bath. It's got a uh, finished basement in there, uh, partially finished. There's a good room, uh, like a workout room or something down there. And uh, then some other areas for storage and stuff. But uh, this one, the entire thing has been kind of completely redone inside. You got uh, new paint everywhere, new carpet, new flooring. Um, hardwood, or uh, it's got uh, granite countertops from uh, Granite Transformations. I mean, it is just a good looking house inside now. It's been painted last year on the outside, uh, windows in 2014. Um, it's just, you know, if you're ready to buy a place and just move in, it's also on a cul-de-sac. So, you know, if you got kids, real big advantage of this one is with kids having the cul-de-sac in the front, but in the back, and I'll show you a little bit here, uh, one of the big advantages of this one is uh, the, the backyard actually uh, goes into city property and it's basically um, overflow area for, for uh, flood stuff. And there's just a ton of room back there. You kind of get to use it like it's your own place. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you around the uh, house here. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me, uh, rich at crownreality.com, or you can always call me 913-207-7152. And as always, I look forward to serving you. Thanks so much and have a great day. All right, let's check out your new house. There's your living room. Nice vaults. Fan's got a remote control. Got right over here to my left is the stairs up. Up there, there's uh, two bedrooms, so uh, and then a bathroom in the middle, so connected by the hallway. This is the master bedroom. Take a first right and see here. You got a. Pretty nice view out there. You can kind of see where the yard's been mowed to. That's the edge of the property line. The rest of that back there, and I'll show you more of this video when we get outside, uh, is basically city property that's uh, never developed, won't be because of the, it's actually for runoff for a storm system, a storm sewer. So <clears throat> new paint, new carpet everywhere, new doors in the bedrooms, new paint uh, everywhere in the house. So go walk this way, new flooring as well. So I'm gonna turn here, we're gonna look in this little, this is kind of your first floor bathroom. Got your shower right there. On the left here is the basement door. Um, we'll go down there in a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the rest of the house first. So we've got, this is the uh, kitchen area. You can see it goes right out to the nice deck. So I'm gonna, this is the dining area, I guess. And, and there's the kitchen right there. So in here we've got countertops from uh, Granite Transformations. So you can see here, I'm gonna close the blinds real quick, sun's coming in. That goes out to the garage. I'll show you that in a little bit. So I'm gonna run you guys upstairs real quick. So 
This is on the first landing right by the door. Kind of give you some perspective on the living room a little bit. Here we are, top of the stairs. Over here, we'll start in this bathroom. It's your first bedroom right at the left at the top of the stairs. Again, all new paint, all new carpet everywhere. Windows were done in 2014. So I'm back downstairs here. We're going to go down to the basement. I'll show you. I'm just going to open this up. What I'll do is I'll just kind of show you uh, the stairs here and then I'll walk down and turn the camera back on. So this is the, the uh, access to the basement right here. So I'm down at the landing. I'm going to show you this is, uh, right now this is not a bedroom. Um, the owner of the house is using it while he was finishing everything upstairs but this is uh here's the window so it's not no egress this is not a bedroom and we come in here to the that makes it he used to be his workout room before he was fixing everything else come into the basement i'm going to do a slow pan here slowly pan around washer dryer hooks up everything hvac Good stuff's back over here. So I'm going to show you. Got another little room back here, kind of a office, whatever you want to call it. Nice little storage area, though. This is where all the internet comes in. So wouldn't take much to make it a halfway decent office. It's already pretty close right now. So this is kind of at the back edge of the basement. I'm going to take you up. We'll go outside and look at the uh, outside of the property. All right, so this is the garage. And you can see it's a one car. It is a little bit larger um, on uh, on this outside over here. There's about, uh, looks like about three feet over there of space. So you can put shelves just like they did and get one car in here pretty easy. There still is another about th two and a half, three feet on this side as well. Um, so if you know if you don't need the shelves you can put other stuff in its place so I'm gonna take you around here in the back we'll show you the, uh, the deck in the backyard so. So I'm going to stand here and pan around the deck and kind of see the deck in the backyard. So the deck is uh, six, seven years old, I believe. So it's a pretty good size. A 
And that's the backyard right there. I'm going to step up here, kind of pan around a little bit. That's a shed goes with it. So So what the deal is on the backyard, you can see where the lines are in the yard right there. That's actually the edge of the property, but if you see back here, this is all for stormwater runoff. So there is no way anything's getting built back there ever. This is strictly for runoff for the city so they can control everything that goes into there. So you buy this property, uh, you're pretty much playing back there and your kids are forever. It's kind of like living in the country, um, in the city.